So the trade still might happen with Anthony Davis to the Lakers, but I got to give the New Orleans Pelicans their dap. They weren't allowing themselves to get pimped by the smoothness of that L.A. feel and tone. They want, they want, not only do they want Kuzma, Ingram, they have to take Lonzo Ball, whatever, and some draft picks and whatever else. They want, they want eight, they want a KFC bucket, basically, and they want Jack Nicholson seats. They want what Denzel Washington sits on them for. They want all that. They want, they want their name in the Raptors, too. I don't blame them, because let's be real, all jokes aside, New Orleans knows if you're going to give up a piece like AD, you got to come and you got to get some. Yeah, now you got to give up something. And they know back in the day, the NBA was notorious for one sided deals. You'd have many years where a superstar big time franchise would trade, um, you know, they would trade uh, a filet mignon for a happy meal. And, and, and that's how it was accepted. People would laugh and crack jokes. But they ain't that way no more. Plus, the Lakers really aren't in a position now where they can uh, uh, allure like that because, aside from LeBron James, that he's getting older, they don't have much that people really look at. I mean, you Kuzman looks like, I call him a broke Kobe. He nice, but he needs some work. You know, he could be nice, but he needs a little, he needs some work. Brandon Ingram got some raw bone skills, but he got a, I say, 22, 6, and 6. He needs some, he needs some work. He a little bit more work than Kuz do. And after that, you're looking at the rest of those cats, and let's be realistic. I mean, Josh Hart's nice off the bench. He's a pick and pop. But you got, like, what I call pick and pop cats. But you don't have, you know, and you, 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 you it's like going grocery shopping. Once you get past the second hand bin, now you're going for maybe I'll get a wild, maybe I'll get, you know, a three for five deal. Because they really don't have much to really work with. And that's the real problem right there with them. So, you know, I'm looking at this situation and I think that um, I don't blame the New Orleans Pelicans. Play hardball with AD because you can get maybe more. And I don't blame them for talking. It may sound reckless and crazy, but guess what? AD is going to be worth $300 million in a couple of years and all that. And if he, you know, turns into something more where he can win his championships and goes on, You'd be a fool not to go out and seek as much as you can get. So I don't blame New Orleans at all. I stay firm on that. I, I won't. Yeah. Because you're not getting the same quality in return on a whole. Let's be realistic. Um, you need about five. You need like a half a KFC bucket to justify Anthony Davis and some cash. And that's still because of the potential and the upside. Are you kidding? This cat's a double-double machine. High 29 10 plus 12 got you know all-star etc etc so you know you 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 owe it to yourself not to get hustled and pimped so i props to new orleans pelicans i want some of this they probably said give me some staple center too give me give me give up put our names on the raptors yeah that's right get all that you can get because you're not gonna get this opportunity again and you don't want to get hustled so that's my take about the new orleans pelicans playing hardball with anthony davis against the lakers for free leave them comments hit that subscribe peace